Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wasserman, and today we are looking at uh, liquid measurement of volume using metric units. So uh, we are in our home links, uh, Unit 4, Lesson 4, and uh, we are exploring uh, liters to milliliters as an analogy for large digit multiplication. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first problem. It's an input table that says complete the table. Uh, how many milliliters are in 8 liters? Well, we would need to know that there are 1,000 uh, milliliters in 1 liter. Okay, So I'm just going to write that at the top. 1 liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So if I want to know the contents of 8 liters in milliliters, I would just have to multiply that number times a thousand. And multiplying any number times a thousand is just taking that number and then adding three zeros behind it because there are three zeros in a thousand. So I would make sure that there are three zeros in my answer. So eight liters is the equivalent of eight thousand milliliters. Okay. So if I had 25 liters, if I multiplied that by 1,000, or one with three zeros behind it, that would give me an answer of 25,000, or 25 with one, two, three zeros behind it. Easy, right? Well, let's take a look at some of these story problems that involve some liquid measurement, okay? Mrs. Wong's students kept track of how much water they used to water the classroom plants. The first week they used 24 liters, the second week they used 17 liters. How many more milliliters did they use the first week than the second? Lots going on with this problem, so let us utilize the ruckus strategy to help break it down. So that's reread the problem, underline the question, circle the important information, come up with an action plan, and then solve. Okay. So Mrs. Wong's students kept track of how much water they used to water the classroom plants. First week, they used 24 liters. Second week, they used 17 liters. How many more liter, milliliters did they use the first week than the second? Okay. So I have reread the problem. I have underlined the question, and I circled some important facts. Now I need to come up with an action plan. Okay. So what do I do in this problem? Okay. Well, there's some clues in the way that they describe the question. How many more milliliters did they use the first week than the second? Did you catch it? It's this phrase, how many more. I'm being asked to compare the first week and the second. The word than is a comparing word, too. And when I'm being asked to compare, I need to subtract. So what am I going to subtract? I'm going to subtract 24 liters minus 17. Well, that's easy. 24 minus 17. Well, I can't subtract 7 from 4, so i got to borrow from a 10, making my two 10s 110, and making my four ones 14 ones. 14 minus 7 is 7, and then 1 minus 1 is 0. Oh, that would be 7 liters. So my answer is 7 liters. Wait a minute. They want the answer in milliliters. See, they, they're trying to trick me here, friends. They want to see if I'm paying attention. Luckily, Mr. Wasserman's paying attention. He's always paying attention. So what do I have to do here? My answer is in liters, but they want the answer in milliliters. Well, I just have to take the number of liters and multiply it by 1,000. What's 7 times 1,000? Well, that would be... 7,000. Yeah, you got that. You probably had the answer before I even said it aloud, right? 7,000 milliliters. Okay? And that's how I solved that story problem. 7,000 milliliters. I'm going to let you try the next couple of problems. They are uh, s uh, structured the same way where they ask you a uh, question using one unit and then uh, they are throwing out a different unit for your answer. Okay. 
Now finally, friends, let's take a look down at the bottom of the practice. Uh, once again, they're giving us some addition subtraction problems to uh, uh, keep us sharp in our computational skills. So let me pick a problem. I'm going to pick number 8. 98,001 minus 7,443. So it's subtraction. So let me rewrite that vertically so that I can line up my place values because I can't subtract knowing that I might have to do some regrouping if my problems aren't lined up by place value. So already I could tell I'm going to have to do some regrouping. But uh, just a couple lessons ago in lesson 4-2, we were doing some estimation where we did some rounding. So maybe I should try some rounding uh, with this problem, okay? 98,001. If I rounded that to, say, the nearest thousand... Well, that's too, almost too easy. I would just drop the 1 and make it 98,000 even. Okay? And then 7,443 rounded to the nearest 1,000. Well, i got to ask myself, is that closer to 7,000 or 8,000? Well, if the halfway point is 7,500, then I would round down to 7,000. So here's my estimated problem, 78,000 minus 7,000, okay? So if just for a moment I ignore all these zeros for a minute, all I'm really being asked to do here is subtract 70, not 70, 98 minus 7. Oh my gosh, Mr. Wasserman needs another cup of coffee. 98 minus 7. Now really, all I'm doing here is subtracting 8 minus 7. 8 minus 7, of course, is 1. Bring it down to 9, that's 91. 91,000, that is, because i got to remember my zeros. So my answer is going to be about 91,000, and that will be very helpful when I'm doing some calculations. Now I actually have to do the calculations. So starting with the 1's column, 1 minus 3, can't do it, I don't have enough 1's. So I look to the 10's, there are no 10's, so i got to look to the 100's, and I'm uh, uh, out of luck there too. I have to go all the way to the thousands, and I'm going to borrow one of those thousands, 8,000, and make it into 7,000, and transform my no hundreds into ten hundreds, ten hundreds, otherwise known as 1,000. Then I'm going to borrow uh, one of those hundreds and make my no tens into ten tens, ten tens being another name for 100. Then I'm going to borrow a 10, and I'm going to lend it to my 1-1, one one, making it 11 ones. So my new number is now 97,990 with 11, okay? So when I do my calculations, I just subtract. 11 minus 3 is going to give me 8. 9 minus 4 is 5. 9 minus 4 is 5 again. 7 minus 7 is 0. And then I bring down the 9, which gives me an answer of 90,558. Now again... My estimation of 91,000 is reasonable. It's reasonable because if I rounded 558 to the nearest thousand, it would round up to 1,000. So 90,558 would round up to that 91,000 amount. So that's how I solve this problem, 90,558. If you have any questions about regrouping, subtraction, large digit numbers, or volume dealing with liters or milliliters, please reach out to your math teacher. They are there to help you. Uh, otherwise, friends, I hope you have a good day, and we'll talk again soon. Thanks.